Nick from South Bend. Come on, Nick. Coach, first of all, thank you for coming here today and sure. uh, thank you for all the work that you and your staff do in, in the brand that we talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, my question for you is, though, on the offense, with the success of the zone read, read option in football today, do you see yourself implementing the style a bit more into your offense more frequently? Perhaps can we see Everett with a little pull and go this year? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, look, here's here's really the, the schematic issue. It is when you spread the field offensively, which the game has gone to more of a spread look, even in the NFL. You, you really have to find ways to run the football because it's still about finding ways to be balanced offensively. So I, I think if you're going to continue to be in the spread offense, you have to find ways to create issues with the defense. And the zone read does that. Um, you can start blocking um, numbers. In other words, you know, if you've got five, you can block five and you can read the sixth player. And, and I think you're going to continue to see that grow. I think the NFL is, is, is obviously using that. Um, we don't need our quarterback to run the ball 30 times a game. And, and he's not going to do that because uh, you're going to lose him. He's going to get injured, hmm. and especially in the NFL. It's, it, we already saw that, um, you know, even RG3, who's, who's a great accomplished runner, um, I think Coach Shanahan's not going <laughs> to – I don't think he's going to uh, put him in a position where he right. loses him. So to answer your question, I think you're going to continue to see more and more of that as the offense continues to stay in a spread set. Oh.